Life Podcast, episode 41. Or like how my mom says it, 41, 41, 40, 41, 41. Oh, man, dude, today was a good day. Um, had a show, just got back from a show. It's pretty late tonight. What, what time is it right now? Like 11? 11. Uh, and I'm doing the podcast uh, late at night. This is a late night version. Yeah. No, not really. Uh gonna be a hell of a it's gonna be a hell of a week because this week is is a special week this week you know what not only this week is gonna be special but it's gonna be this whole episode is gonna be a special episode right i'm gonna dedicate this episode para todas las mamas because sunday is mother's day Ay, mother's day todas las mamas uh already i'm already i'm letting you know right now happy mother's day there's a lot of uh females listeners that are moms Every single one of you girls, happy Mother's Day, and I hope que la pasen bien. I hope those kids you pushed out and fucking ripped through your vagina were worth it. Those little squinkles that, that made you gain a little bit of weight that you're insecure about, and you're just like, I don't know if I should go out to the clubs because the body's not the same like it used to. Shut up, and I hope those kids are worth it. I hope they're, they're making uh, macaroni necklaces. They're dope as fuck. I hope they're making beautiful pictures from school that you can hang it up in your fridge and you're like, look, my my daughter did that and my son did that. Oh, my God, they're just artists. They're artists. I hope it was worth it. I hope they make you happy. I hope you look at them and you're like, I'm proud of this baby. Yes, they shit all the time. Yes, they're always losing stuff. Yes, they're crying about a toy that I buy them that's kind of expensive and then they break it. Yes, this baby. Baby I have right here that's almost grown. It's like I give them their, my phone when they cry so they can just shut up and give me just a fucking five minutes of peace. It's worth it. I just bought a phone, but I broke it. Every fucking mom I know has a fucking broken screen on their phone. Why? Because they give their phones to their kids. The kids drop it and break it. Fuck, they have to go get a new phone. And they give the broken phone to their kid. Now it's their kid. Now it's their phone. Their old phones are their kids' phones. They use them as so they can watch fucking YouTube videos. And every YouTube video that they watch are so weird and creepy. They make no sense. The songs are just annoying. And you're like, why are you liking this? But for some reason, those kids that you pu- pushed out of your bodies love that type of stuff. And they're turning into weirdo kids right in front of you. And you're accepting it. And you will fight to the death for those kids. And I know that for a fact. That I hope they're worth it and they made you what you are and they're making you into a mother. And that's why we're celebrating you ladies on Sunday for Mother's Day. All right. Round of applause for all the mothers. Let's give a round of applause. (laughs) It's a hell of an event. Being a mom looks like an easy job. As like a a, a male looking at a a female, um, it looks like an easy job, right? It looks like an easy task. It looks like something that... I, it's so funny how like guys automatically think that, oh, well, you do it. Do it. Hey, the kids, Craig, do it. Like We think that you girls are just built different than us to, to take care of this. Like, oh, no, you guys, your ears are made differently than ours. They, they're, they're, the sound is... Um, it, it can hold a, a different tone than us because the crying of, of a kid... It doesn't. We can't support it. We're just like, ah, oh, it's too much. It's too much. And we think that you ladies have a special eardrum that can hold, can support the, the 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 annoying sounds, and it doesn't bother you. And we think that your back is built different. We can carry heavy stuff, but when it comes to a kid, for some reason, that little weight kind of irritates our back, and it's like a weird, awkward tension. And we're just like, oh no, you hold them. And you ladies just have a different back than us that can carry that kid at the fucking store and just for hours. And I fucking salute you. I seen moms carry a kid for hours. And I'm like, God damn. I hold my little brother when he was a baby for like five minutes. And I swear to God, I was like, I'm dropping this baby. I'm dropping my brother. Like he just he's just going to be a dropped kid. He's going to walk around with a fucking with headsets. In, in with a backpack and head, headphones on that aren't connected to anything, and he's going to be dancing around the hallways in high school because he's going to get dropped, right? I, I just, I just, they're too heavy, okay? Um, but that's not the case. 
You ladies are built the same way. There's no specialness to your back. You guys, you girls aren't superheroes, but yet for some reason you can't handle more shit than us men. And I'm here to respect that. All right. I'm kissing every mother's ass. Not literally, but you know what I mean? Relax. My girl's over here like, what the fuck? Chill out. All right. That's enough. <sighs> These women need respect. And I'm here to give it to you, man. I acknowledge. I see all that you do. I see what you do. I see the fact that there's the last bite of a burrito that you want. And you're a fucking your son is looking at that like, I'm still hungry. You're like, all right, you can finish that. I salute you, ladies. I salute the ladies that like come home from work and their fucking fat little kid wants to eat something. So wants some quesadillas. And you're just like, oh, my bad. All right, cool. You heat up the stove and you make him a little fucking snack, a little quesadilla for him to watch his YouTube fucking weirdo videos. And I salute you. I see you. I see you uh, working hard. I see what my sister does that. My sister, I see her like sometimes busting her ass and I'm just like, oh, my God, she's doing with these kids. My dad will say something different. My dad's like, ah, no, tu hermana, güey. Lete, hijo, su si tu mamá fuera como tu hermano, hombre, yo la hubiera dejado la verga así en caliente. But leave my sister alone, okay? She's fucking a millennial mom. They're, they're different. They're not built like these fucking paisa moms. Paisa moms, you know, it's a different breed, you know what I mean? Like, paisa moms didn't have anybody to have their kid get taken care of, you know what I mean? Paisa moms had to sometimes leave their kids by themselves at the store to go do something because, you know, the kids are going to fucking not let her finish the grocery shopping. And they're like, I was getting mold. You guys are staying here. My sister, you know, has the luxury to go drop off her kids at my mom's house. And, you know, and she has to deal with the fact that when she comes back, my dad's giving her that look like, hey, no te pases de lanza. El morro hace un desmadre. Right, that's a risk that my sister has to take. And my dad... Loves his grand his grandson, but goddamn that grandson is a little devil for my dad, and it gets to him. And my dad's a fucking intense guy. He loves my dad loves his grandson for five minutes. After that, he's just like he goes. He yells to my mom, "Hey, take care of because I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna punch this kid in the face. I'm gonna punch him in the face." And mom, "Ay, pero por qué?" And then my fucking little nephew punches my mom in the stomach. I was like, Ay, you're hitting me, Michael. Michael, you're hitting me. Don't hit me like that. Michael. He throws a toy. Ah! My mom's like, ah, you're throwing the toys in my face. It's okay. Ay, it's okay, Michael. It's okay. My dad's like, no, hombre, yo, yo lo. I would have whooped his ass a long time ago, but no, because he's half white. The government's going to come after me. No quiero problemas. My, dad, my sister does have a white fucking son. He's more, I know, but he's, you know, he's he's picking up on the Mexican stuff. I think he understands Spanish a lot more. And um, it's his trip having a, a seen a white kid walk walk around the house. It's like, that is a white baby. But uh, he loves Mexican, he loves camarones. That's his thing. He loves them camarones, you know, the fucking, that's the Mexican in him, right? My dad looks at him. It's so funny because, like, his dad is allergic to shrimp. And, um. But his son isn't, and my dad's just like, no, oh, you see, Michael, he's a real Mexican. Ese cabrón, su, su, su dad, he's delicate, he can't eat nothing. But I, if I eat a shrimp, if I eat a shrimp, I don't know, it makes me turn different. I feel a little gay, and my asshole starts throbbing. I don't know, the shrimp makes me gay. I don't know, I can't eat it. Chico, cabrón. I'm like, Dad, I think he's allergic to the shrimp. I'm like, tú también, tú también. The same with him. You both, you eat shrimps and you go upstairs. I don't know what's going on upstairs. I'm like, dude, fucking relax, all right? But, yeah, man, like, it's tough. It's a tough thing. It's, it's a tough being a mom. It's tough, especially if you're a single mother. Oof, that's the toughest, right? Uh, the guys, uh, I see how, how, how the, the dads take care of the kids when they when it's their weekend. A lot of parenting, a lot of the, their parents help out a lot. You know, the, their moms and, and dads come in to play and help him out a lot, right? But uh, the moms, you know, it's tough. They got to deal with that shit. And they got to deal with the fucking the dating game on top of being around kids. They got to say, like, oh, I got to date a dude, meet a dude. And then it's like, <gasps> yeah, I got to get to know the guy so he can, you know, it takes a while for me to introduce the kids. Some of y'all ratchet moms don't give a fuck. But, you know, the ones that are the real ones, they have to wait. 
So they meet the fan. It's a whole fucking process, man. It's fucking crazy, right? So I salute you ladies, man. It's fucking Mother's Day. You guys went through a lot. So we take a day of the year to say, hey, we see ya. Keep it pushing. Hasta la fucking luego. And, uh, you know, you guys do a lot. My mom, dude, my mom is a tough, it's a tough mom. She's tough. She's, uh, she's definitely a tough paisa mom. What's a paisa mom? You know, I don't know, fucking, she's just like, you know, I want to dedicate this episode to her. This episode is going straight to her. My mom right now is probably watching. I know she watches every single episode. When when it's not up, she gets mad at me. She's like, mijo, el episodio, que paso? What is the episode? Because I haven't seen it yet. What's going on? You hope you're not being lazy and smoking the marijuana. So she's watching this right now. She's like, ah, he's going to say things about me. No, I'm not going to say some stories. Okay, so I'm letting you know right now. Okay, she's watching. Literally, she's literally watching this fucking video. And if the people that are just listening on audio, man, take a chance and watch it on fucking YouTube, bro. This fucking what I'm wearing right now is I got a flannel on. I button it up. I'm missing the, the top button. And uh, my mom is watching this right now thinking like, I, I know. My son, he's a cholo. I know. Mira como se está vistiendo como cholo. I told him, don't move to Los Angeles porque te vas a volver como cholo. I saw the neighborhood you live in. It's disgusting. Ay, va a ser cholo. Ya lo sé, ya lo sé. And my dad's like, cholo. Jesus, no, ese no va a ser cholo. Va a ser bien culón este cabrón. He's scared of everything. Cholo, he's scared of he's scared of uh, el, Jesus. He's scared of the spider, not the cholo spider. Actual spiders. That's not matter. He gets scared. I a spider. Can el cholo? No, the little insect in the ground. Chicoto. But my mom is uh, you know, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys in. I'm gonna let you guys in on who my mom is. My the Mrs. Sepulveda. I, I, a lot of you guys saw the video of. of my mom and dad on YouTube, and you guys thought like, wow, your mom is a sweet lady. She's such a kind lady. She's so kind and nice. She's an innocent angel. She's always happy. She seems so, oh, so just, just a very, very kind person, right? Wrong! That lady has a mean side to her. I see that mean side that my mom has. My mom used to fucking, let me tell you something. My mom has a fucking, she has this fucking thing with her, her, she has these joints. She has art- arthritis. So she has these fucking crazy joints where she can fucking squeeze your ear and just <sighs> look at these. You see these fucking ears? These ears didn't happen on their own. No, they were this big. My mom would fucking twist them and turn them and turn them like fucking tortillas. She fucking stretched my ear out, ears out like tortillas. Okay? She would just fucking be squeezing them away. Mente pa calmate, cabrón. Te calmas. Calmate, calmate. She was just be squeezing that. Ah! All right. She she was a fucking, she used to beat me sometimes, okay? And my mom knows the story. I already said the story about the time that when I fucking came home from fucking daycare and I jumped the fence and my mom grabbed me and she beat the shit out of me in the fucking room. Till this day, I bring it up and she's like, ay, mijo, don't talk about it. I feel so sorry, pero, ay, es que no, no aguantabas. And I'm like, neither did you when you fucking hit me. No te aguantas this. <laughs> oh, that's why I have trauma. But did I deserve it? Of course I did. All right. And I forgave her for that. Even though she thinks, forgive me for what, pendejo, it was your fault. Anyways, that's a, that's a different story. But that lady also has a dark side, okay? And it's so funny cause, because she's, it, it, it's funny because my mom, she's so nice, right? She doesn't know how to be mean. And, and uh, uh, well, it's hard for her to be mean. So you got to really push her over the edge. Uh, I remember one time uh, my mom was wa- cleaning the house like crazy, running around, and then I saw her mop, and I decided to, you know, help my mom out. I was like, oh, dude, my fucking poor mom's been working all day. So I go over there, and I tell my mom, like, ama, like, te puedo dar, yo te puedo dar, because I just felt bad, you know? And my mom's like, hey, no, 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 I'm going to do it. It's okay. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going to help you. Let me help you mop. No, mijo, está bien. Tú mejor juega, mejor juega. And I'm like, pero, mamá, I want to help you. Oh, que la chinga. Que mejor juega, mijo, it's okay. But then I just kept being persistent, so my mom finally said, okay. But the reason why my mom said no, 
or didn't want me to do it. It wasn't because she felt bad for me. It was because she knew I was going to do it wrong and she would have to do it again. She's already cleaning, sweeping, and she doesn't want to fucking redo shit again. But she didn't know how to say that. She was trying to be nice to me. So she's like, oh, okay, puss, okay. So I'm over here mopping, thinking I'm doing the right way. And my mom's like, not moving the chairs. My mom wants you to move every fucking furniture, get all the well, all up in it, and then fucking put this furniture back. And I, you know, I was a little lazy. I didn't want to do all that. So I would just clean whatever's like open space. And then the rest, that, that was it. So I told my mom, I was like, oh, gracias, mijo. Está bien. Gracias. And then, so she would fucking clean the thing and she'll start mopping. And I was like, I'm up, bro. Ya lo hice. I already did it. She's like, si sí, es que cositas chiquitas que vi, cositas chiquitas que estoy viendo. And then she fucking had to remop everything I did. And that's when I realized, you know what? That's it. I'm tired of being nice. I am never going to help this lady again. She obviously doesn't like the way I clean. And that's why she did it. That's why my mom, when you, she complains that we don't do shit, but when we try, she gets mad. She's like, no, mejor no lo hagan porque yo lo voy a hacer. Porque no, 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 porque para hacerlo doble, está cabrón. Mejor lo hago una vez y ya se va a estar limpio. And I was like, but mom, but we want to help you. Mejor, mejor, please don't because I don't like the way you clean. I see how you clean. I see your dirty underwears. If you keep if you keep that clean like that, then I don't want you to clean in this house. Porque, ay, ya me imagino cómo traes las cosas. Ay, cabrón. Tantos colores en los underwears. Ay, it's disgusting, cabrón. We were disgusting. I think I was a fucking disgusting kid. My mom would just go in my room. She would open the door. She'd be like, ay, ¿por qué? Abre la pinche ventana. Huele como, ay. Ay, es el olor a que está bien feo. Y pensé que era el baño. Ay, disgusting. She'd be like, what the fuck? Well, you just walked into a fucking major fart, so that's your fart. Your fault, lady. Oh, lots of stuff, man. I could talk about a lot of things about my mom. I remember uh, I remember one time, um, you know, when it was a funny story when my mom was uh, helping me with homework. And, uh, it was, I was just helping with, I, I remember that uh, it was addition, right? Uh, she was helping me how to, how to do addition, and then she would say, Remember the problem was seven, seven plus seven, right? But the thing is, my mom would teach me in Spanish. So uh, I would go some things I didn't understand because she would just say this way. A ver, let me see. Ah, está fácil, está fácil, mijo, está fácil. Mira, eso está fácil. Mira, siete más siete. I I didn't understand what siete más siete meant. I thought it sounded like multiplication. I was like, oh my, it's it's addition, like it's addition. Like, Oh, cabrón, lo que estoy diciendo, 7 más 7 es 7 plus 7 es 7 plus 7. So then I would just be like, okay, uh, I didn't know. So my thing when I, I was so lazy that I would just like say like, you know, numbers that I, I thought that that were it. Like I would just guess, right? So he's like, 7, seven plus seven, 7, plus 7, I don't know, like fucking 10. No, 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 no. I don't know, like, on set, like, no, no, I don't know, like, 13, I don't know, 13, no, no, no es, mira, cuenta, 7, más 7, so I remember one time, one of those, I just blurred out, like, I don't know, like, 14, I don't know, 14, I don't know, and she was like, no, okay, pero, busca como, vas a encontrar el número, busca, no, 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 estás diciendo cosas, you're just saying it, so no, no, Buscalo. And I'm just like, oh my God, so then I stood there, and my mom was cleaning while I was figuring it out, so then I would, Literally just count like seven, make like seven little fucking lines because that's what my mom would tell me. As palitos, as palitos. So I would make little fucking lines. And I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My mom says, add it all up. So then I would just add it all up and I came out to 14. But here's the thing when I was spurting out numbers and saying fucking numbers, I said 14. But she said no. The reason why she said no was because she knew that I was just guessing. I wasn't really trying to figure it out. I was just being lazy. So that's why she said no. She said no. So try to figure it out until you come up with the number. So then when I came up to 14, I was like, well, it can't be 14 because she said no. So what is it? Shit. So I went back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I fucking literally one problem, right? That one seven plus seven. Lasted 20 fucking minutes. My mom was done cleaning the kitchen. She came out like, Mijo, ay, son chingaderas. Andas en el primero pro You're in the first problem? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué, qué, qué no puedes entender? Siete más siete. Cuéntalos. 
Cuéntalos. And I'm like, I did. I, 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 I did, dude. It was one, two, three, four. And I said, it was 14. I don't know. But you, and my mom's like, but it's 14, mijo. It's 14. I'm like, I'm not. Oh, my God, dude. You fucking said it wasn't. You said it wasn't. Like, I, because tú estabas nomás diciendo numbers. You're just saying numbers. It's like, you're not, you're not, you're not counting. You're not trying. Oh, my God, dude, this whole time, I, I said 14 already, and you you said no. Oh, my God, dude, like, I wasted 20 minutes because of you. You said no. Ay, 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 ahora because I said no, everything I say, everything I do is wrong. No, 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 that's not my fault because you're stupid. Oh, my, no, I'm stupid? You just call me stupid to try to get the fucking defense and shit, try to make her feel bad. You're calling me stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No se simple. No se simple. Ay, you, you're so sensitive. Ay, ay, ay. Just do the, pro do the problem. I don't know the next one. The next one. Five plus five. I'm like, five plus five. Ay, hijo, la chica. We're going to be here all night. Cabrón, that's bien pendejo. Why did I drop you so many times? So many times I hit you in the head. I should have never hit you. <sighs> My mom was very, very... Impatient sometimes. Sometimes she couldn't handle it. Sometimes she just, she just couldn't do it. My dad, the worst. My dad, my dad, no, my dad would just fucking come and just try to whoop my ass every fucking. No, I don't even want to talk about that. What he would do, he wouldn't even fucking bother. No, este, he, to me, he was like, no, ese cabrón nunca. <laughs> El que nunca va a emprender este cabrón. Ah, ya valió mal este nombre, este. Neta, cuídalo. I'm, I'm afraid to die one day because he won't be able to take care of me. I don't know how you're going to live life. Porque, ay, hijo, su chingada madre. Este cabrón. My mom, si sí, es cierto, Diosito, cuida a mi hijo porque está pendejito. But my mom, man, she, she fucking busted her ass off. She fucking worked hard. She would cook meals, this lady. This lady would cook meals. This lady would fucking teach us. You've seen the videos of her fucking putting her hand in the comal. She don't give a fuck. Doesn't burn her. She's from El Rancho, man. Fucking big time. My dad fucking lucked out. I tell him all the time, man, you fucking lucked out. All these meals she makes you fucking. Dude, you have the fucking the whole restaurant right there. She's worth so. My mom is worth like a million dollars because of all these fucking meals that she knows what to do. She saves them so much fucking money. My dad's like, ay, 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 sí, sí. Sí, hombre, sí. And I'm telling, dude, I'm telling you, this fucking lady, she works fucking hard. You know, she makes you some great fucking food. She even tries to teach me how to fucking make food. She she teaches me how to make food when I was like six years old. I hope some of you young moms are doing that to your kids. Teach them the basics. She taught me the basics. And you know, every Latino knows the basics. We learn when we're young how to make Quesadillas, that's the most basic food you can make. If you don't, if you're fucking in kindergarten and you don't know how to make a quesadilla, you ain't shit. I'm sorry, bro. I know that sounds bad, but if you don't know how to make a quesadilla at age fucking six or, or you're in kindergarten, man, y'all fucking up. You need to get your shit together, bro. You need to get your, this is the most easiest fucking thing to make. That was the fucking food that my mom taught us how to make because we were left alone a lot. We were those kids that were like, here's the key to the house. You come and you cook here. When you get home from school, ahí hay tortillas. Hice tortillas. Y ahí está el queso. Quesadillas. Until I get home and make you real, real, real food, all right? That was it. The other basic one is weenies con huevo. Everybody knows them weenies con huevo. God damn. Till this day. Till this day. Weenies con huevo is fucking fire if you make it the right way. My mom will teach us how to make fucking weenies con huevo, all right? And um, she would just help us. I remember one time I made them. They came out a little raw. I made, I tried to surprise my mom. Be like, hey, I'm out there. I made you the weenies con huevo. She's like, ah, gracias, mijo. She tried them. She's like, ay, sí, mijo. And I volteo, and I'm over here playing video games. I look over to my shoulder, and I can see her throwing away. No, te salieron malos. No tienen sabor, no tienen sal, no, no, no. Ay, no tiene nada. Like my mom was just, you know, she just did not like the way I made weenies con huevo, right? And uh, that's one thing I'm telling you, that one thing that I, I, I could tell about my mom is just like, she cleans. Here's the thing, I know I bring up the cleaning so much, but you should see. You should see. I want I feel like recording how much my mom cleans. She just, she, it's like, it, it, it becomes an obsession. She just cleans too much. Like, we're over here sometimes at the house. We're right, we're out here trying to watch a family movie, right? 
We all sit down. We're all getting together. My mom has 15 minutes in that family movie, and that's it. She'll fucking watch the movie for 15 minutes, and she's like, Ay, ahorita vengo, es que dejé la ropa. And she's doing laundry. We just hear the fucking machines. She never likes to spend time with it, hanging out with us because she has things to do. Sometimes when we're playing Uno, we're playing like a card game or something. Loteria, she's just like fucking literally cooking while she's playing with us, while she's fucking cleaning the backyard or she's fucking sweeping upstairs or mopping. We're like, God damn, can you just relax and just play the fucking game? You crazy bitch. Like, just stop. And my mom's just like, nah, I have got things to do. I have a lot to do. Because that's her way of thinking, I think. That's, a, that's how she deals with her fucking anxiety and ADHD. Because she's over here fucking always cleaning, bro. It becomes annoying. One of the things I hated the most was Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings was the worst for me growing up. I fucking hated Saturday mornings. The most annoying sound to me was my mom waking us up on Saturday morning. It was the most annoying thing in the world because because the way she would do it. My mom had this fucking energy about her that would get on my fucking nerves, right? She was just way too excited on fucking Saturday morning at fucking 7 in the morning. My mom just goes up, okay, wake up. Wake up, wake up, everybody, wake up, andale. No, 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 cabrón, levántate. Hay cosas que hacer, tenemos que limpiar el patio. And I'm just like, what? What? Why? It's Saturday. No me importa, no me importa. Tenemos que limpiar el patio, el baño, el cuarto. Ay, el cuarto está horrible, horrible está el cuarto. Te vamos a limpiar el cuarto y luego los carros. Jesús, vas a hacer carros. Come on, wake up, everybody, wake up. Wake up, wake up, it's time to do wake up. And I'm just like, fuck! Fucking Saturday! Who the fuck wants to clean all fucking day? She made a list of things we have to do, and I, I already knew. I was like, this is going to take all day! All fucking day, dude! So she would make us breakfast. That was the thing. We don't work until we eat. We eat, and then after we eat, we have to fucking clean all day. And this is my And my dad worked from Monday through Friday. Sometimes he'll take a Saturday off. When he takes, I mean, sometimes he'll, he'll work through a Saturday. Fuck it. So my dad would be gone. When my dad was gone, that was the worst. Because at least my dad would say, hey, until 12, it's fine. You know, let them be. My mom would fucking, do. when we had my mom through the whole day, my mom never stops. My mom is working 24 hours. That list that she created, I'm like, oh, this is going to be all fucking day. We got an off fucking nighter. My mom was like that manager that you work with, or you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Now we really got to work. Fuck the manager managers here. God damn. Fuck. My dad was like that cool manager. Like he was just like, yeah, you know what? Take a little break. Take a water break. Because he would take breaks. He would take a little water break, drink a soda, chill, you know? At least, at least he would do that. But my mom was the one that she didn't take breaks. She's that paisa. She's that fucking manager that who really fucking came to work. Who's trying to impress the fucking boss upstairs. Trying to get that fucking. That's my mom. Fool. That's the type of worker she was. But she had a rule. You work after you eat. So she would make us breakfast. And man, when I would eat that breakfast, I would eat it so fucking slow, dude. I would take my time. I would eat it because I didn't want to fucking work. I would watch TV. And my mom had a feeling like she, she fed us. And as she's like, she gave us the food. She'll be cleaning. She starts already with the list. And my mom knew. She, she, she knew what's up. She knew what we were doing. She wasn't born yesterday. She was like, y se están haciendo pendejos. Se están haciendo. Ya termine la comida, se están haciendo pendejos. I'm like, oh my, dude, let me eat. Oh my God, like, I have to eat something. God, like, let me eat. Cabrón, es cereal. Ya, ya terminalo, ya termina la pinche, la pinche leche. You don't eat cereal for two hours. Ya son las diez. Son las diez. Mira, I'm not going to help you, Jesus. I'm not going to help you. Okay, look at your sister. My sister was a fucking kiss ass, by the way. Fuck you, bitch. Happy Mother's Day. My sister was a kiss ass. My sister would eat, and she'll go fucking. My sister was the type of girl that like she still liked this to this day. She like she sees her responsibilities, she gets them out 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 of the way so she can start relaxing. So my sister was like, "Yo, I'm gonna fucking sweep the room, clean my room, make sure everything's fucking ready to go for my mom to clean my clothes, and then uh sweep, mop, and then that's it. I'm done." She's done for the day. So she's already getting started so she can be free for the rest of the day. I'm like, oh, my, I'm still eating. My little brother's the same way. He has to organize his toys. And he has had to, like, I think he had to clean the backyard. And 
uh, I think I believe his chores were like take out all the trash, clean the backyard, and then cl- fix his rooms, like organize his toys, the little toy cars. Mine's my chores was to clean my room, make my bed, put my toys away, organize my CDs because I was all about the CDs. I had my CDs. I had a CD player, so I had my CDs all over the place, right? And I had tapes because I would record songs that were on the radio, you know, would fucking record them and shit. I had a little mix tapes, right? And then I would have to clean the cars. Sweet, I mean sweep. I would have to uh, vacuum and then clean the outside of the cars, both cars, right? That was my job. And I would have to fucking clean the front yard. But that shit was like, oh, I'm going to take my time. My mom was like, yeah, tu hermano, tu hermana ya está limpiando. Go clean right now. Oh, my God, dude. I'll fucking go. I'll go right now. I get when you're on me. Like, God. I fucking waited till the last fucking minute, dude. I'll wait till fucking 12 to get started, dude. And as I'm getting started, I'll just, like, get distracted. I'm fucking putting, making the bed. Then I'll lay down. And I'm just stretching. And I'm like, oh. And my sister's, like, fucking cleaning. I'm just like, oh, God. What if I take a nap and mom comes in? It's like, ah, mira no mas. And I just try to act like I wasn't fucking laying down. I was just like moving the thing. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, dude. And the one time I laid down, you come in here like, I, 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 see, see, see. I, I, what a coincidence. I'm like, I, I swear to God it was, dude. I, I, I didn't even lay down on Gabriel. I didn't even lay down, dude. I barely laid down one second. And you show up. That's the second that you decide to walk in here. Oh, my God, dude. My brother's like, uh, you were laying down the whole time. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Oh, I fucking hate everybody here. Yeah, deja de ser huevón y limpia el pinche cuarto. Ya, haz la cama, cabrón. Haz la cama. Ay, porros excusas. No más haz las cosas, mijo. Just do it. And you can be done like your sister. All right, then leave. Leave. Fuck. God damn it. El día que no esté aquí, cabrón, vas a estar llorando. Ay, por qué hay así, ya la mamá. Oh, my God, you're so dramatic, dude. God, man. Doing the fucking bad. Then I got distracted. I'm putting the CDs away. Then I fucking listen to a CD, and I'm like, oh, man, I like that song. Listen to the next song. I'm just like, man, that's a good song. I'm fucking just, like, thinking of the song, how I would play it if I was at a party. I just start thinking, and I'm fucking in the chair. And then my mom walks back in. She's like, Oh my god, dude! Like, I can't do nothing because oh my god, man! You, you keep looking at me and you keep thinking I'm being lazy. Ay, 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 dude! Like, let me, let me terminar, pues. God. Ay, por qué eres tan huevón tú, eh? Por qué? Oh my, oh my, I swear to God, dude! Like, I'm gonna fucking run away and like never come back, like. Fuck, dude, you never appreciate me, dude. Fuck. Then my mom leaves. Then I finally go outside to go do the fucking cars. Then I vacuum the cars, and oh, fuck, it just takes fucking forever. You know, I'm fucking just doing the thing. Oh, it's just annoying. Then it gets stuck on the little rocks, and it's fucking, I'm pulling the thing. Oh, it was the worst, dude. I remember one time, dude, I remember I cleaned the car, and it got all mad at me because, like, I was cleaning the steering wheel, and for some reason, it just locked, right? And I was like, oh, fuck. It just, the steering wheel just locked. And I was like, god damn, my dad's got to be pissed. Because last time it locked, it fucking broke, and it locked for a long time. And this year was locked, and I tried to play it off like like it wasn't me. He did it. He just like, hey, por qué esta madre no? Jesus, when you clean the car. I'm like, oh, dude, I didn't, no, uh, that that worked. Eso, eso servía cuando. No seas, no seas mentiroso, cabrón. Did you do this? Say yes or no right now. Say yes that you did it if you did it. And I won't get mad. Say yes. And I fucking thought for a second. I was like, should I tell him I did it? Should I just say yes? But it's a trick question. You see, my dad's a tricky dude. He makes it seem like he's your friend, but he's not. So should I tell him the truth? Or should I just lie and see if I get away with it? So I lied to see if I got away with it. I was like, no, but it, it was it, it worked. It, it, it worked. It, it really did. No, says mentir. Way a mal a todos. And if everybody tells me that they didn't do it, it's because it was you. So please tell me the truth now. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> Why would you even? Uh, hey, Gabriel, Yvonne, come here. Did you guys do this to the steering wheel? My brother's just like, you can tell he's not lying. He's just like, no. 
I didn't, I didn't touch it. My sister's like, Apa, I'm fucking kiss ass too. Apa, tú sabes bien que yo nunca toco el carro, yo no limpio, no son, esos no son mis uh, responsa- my sp- responsibilities. Like, you know, that I don't touch the car. You know what I do? I clean, I have to clean. My chores are the floor. I have to mop. I have to sweep. I'm never in the car, so that's that's him, dude. Like, he, he, el lo quebró, and he did all that, and my dad's like, and I'm just like, oh, sweating. Oh, okay, okay. Pero, es porque cuando lo moví, like, eh, no, eh, eh, yo pensé que no se iba a laquear, pero I don't know why. Like, eh, la cosa no sirve. Like, you should take it back to the dealership because, like, why isn't it not working? Didn't you just buy the car? Like, I don't get why it doesn't. Hijo, tu chingada, pues, te dije que no me eches mentira. Don't lie to me, cabrón. Don't lie to me. And who was there to save the day? Huh? Everybody. My dad was about to kill me. Fucking kick my ass. Who was there to save the day? My mom. My mom came in like, Gordo, déjalo. Él no sabe. Él es un niño. Te, te perdí a mí. Limpió el carro. ¿Sabes qué? Él sí me ayudó mucho ahora. Sí me ayudó mucho. Se levantó temprano. Comió rápido. Fue, entendió la cama. ¿Eh? Tenía la cama, puso todos los sus CDs, no, lo acomodó muy bien, le ayudó a su hermana, a su hermano, hizo todas las cosas bien, ¿eh? Le hizo bien, my dad, ándale. Le hizo todo, cabrón, ¿es cierto? My dad, yeah, dude, yes. I'm looking at my mom, like, why would she just lie to me? I looked at her, and my mom looked at me, she says, wink, she's like, fuck his ass, ¿eh? Pero, she pointed at me, like, I'm gonna help you out today, but you better fucking be good next time. She gave me a little wink, like, And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, you see, I told you, I told you, I, I, I'm always working hard, I told you, my dad. Ándale, pues no está bien, pues ponte la pila, amigo, que bueno, que, que me gusta escuchar esas cosas de ti, que haces las cosas bien, que bueno, que bueno. And he leaves, and I look at my mom like, oh. <clears throat> well, um, gracias, because, uh, you know, what you did, está bien, nomás haz las cosas bien, okay? No quiero batallar contigo, que sea la última vez que batallo contigo. Ya no, te, nunca te voy a ayudar con tu papá, ¿eh? Nunca. Ok, está bien, pues, I'm sorry. Gracias. Gave her a hug. And that's why I love that lady. That's why me and that lady are like this. And I love my mom. She's always helped me out. She defends me. I could fucking kill somebody. My mom would still fucking have my back. She'll be like, no, look, he didn't do it, Your Honor. He wouldn't do it. He looks like a cholo, but he's not a cholo. Mi hijo no... Mi hijo es una buena persona, eh. He's a very nice guy. Nunca, jamás. Él, he's a little lazy, can't read, can't count. Pero I love his stupid ass. I love him. Él, él es stupid and I love him. I made a stupid baby, I know. Pero I love him, okay? I love you too, mom. I love you so much. Happy Mother's Day and all the moms that are listening to the podcast. Happy Mother's to y'all. Please enjoy yourselves with your kids. And, you know, and you know what? Like, you guys made little blessings, you know? Despite how how many times they shit themselves, how many times they t- destroy stuff that you buy them that was very expensive that you broke your back for, you made little fucking blessings and enjoy every single one of your blessings. And that is the episode for this week. All the moms, un beso, un saludo, y eh, mucho, mucho amor. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, that's the episode for this week. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the more videos that you see in the channel. Uh, peace out, guys. Peace.